Hey everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and I am about to go into an estate sale real quick, and if I can, I'll try and take some uh, footage while I'm in there. And also, I went to some garage sales this morning, so here in a little bit, I'm going to uh, stop and show you guys um, some of the things I got. I'm super excited. I was always right. <laughs> Any good stuff left? <laughs> good to you may be bad to me. <laughs> Okay, there really wasn't that much in there. Um, that's the thing about estate sales. They're just hit or miss, you know? I was just talking about this the other day with somebody, I forget who, but that looked like it would have been a good one to probably go to on the first day because the prices were pretty reasonable. But uh, yeah, I didn't find anything. And you can see all that damage from Hurricane Harvey. Like a lot of these houses out here, most of them flooded. You can see where they cut the drywall there from the ground up, so. Oh, a nightmare of these people having to deal with that. Off to the next one. Oh my gosh, I just found another garage sale, so I'm going to go check it out real quick. Okay, I finally stopped. So, um, with the garage sales, I really didn't get a lot of stuff today because it was Memorial Day weekend. So there's really, there really wasn't a whole lot of sales, not even like in the apps or anything. I literally just drove around this morning and found a few sales. So, um, let's see what I got. I'm worried my video is going to cut off here in a second because I'm expecting to text, but if it does, I'll just start it back over again. Okay. Uh, first thing I got, I got this this morning at a garage sale and I paid two dollars for it and I right now I am obsessed with all things gold and mirrors I just love them uh, so that was two bucks and then I got oopsie these y'all oh my gosh they're so stinking cute I'm totally gonna keep them look at these little crab earrings are they not the cutest little earrings you have ever seen the lady that I bought them from said that she used to run like um, participate in the boat shows and look they were only a dollar so um, she said she had all this nautical jewelry he's so cute his little mouth is in the shape of a heart and it's got like red enamel um, and they're pierced but yeah totally gonna keep these I love them they're super duper cute I love the nautical stuff living so close to Galveston Texas um, I'm just drawn to that kind of decor. I love it. Speaking of nautical decor, <laughs> and then, you know, I stopped by Goodwill, of course, and I got this platter, another crab. There's a theme going here today, you guys. So this is a really fun platter. I'm almost certain it was handmade because the back of it says, uh, uh, Barbara 
Bar Barbara fin Finsness Signature Collection Bermuda. And it was five bucks, but um, I thought this would look really pretty like on my um, patio table out, uh, out back. So um, gorgeous, isn't that pretty? I just love it. Uh, let's see, a lot of this stuff I'm keeping. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Um, and this, look at this, you guys, isn't this cool? It's like made of ceramic and it's, um, it's actually that Heco in Mexico. I'm sure I'm probably saying that wrong, but I can never remember the right way to say it. But yeah, how cool is that? I love it. And it only had a price tag of 50 cents on it. And I got to this garage so late, it was like 8.45. So I can't believe it was still sitting there and nobody wanted it, but, oh. No, yeah, yeah, it's not broke. I, I was looking at his nose, I was like, wait, what's the matter? So I guess, you know, it looked really pretty like with a tea light in it, or this kind of stuff I feel like looks really pretty like um, in, in landscaping, like maybe in my backyard or something like that. I don't know, it's really, really pretty and I dig it, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> and the funny thing about this is, um, I'm about to show you the clothes that I bought at this garage sale. So she rang me up and she's like, okay, that'd be $7. And I was like, oh, did you get this? And she said, no, she said, I'll just throw that in. So basically I had it for free. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, let's see, put them down there so I don't break them. Okay, so clothes real quick. I'm gonna show you the ones I got to resell. I got some Matilda Jane. I have a ton of Matilda Jane to list for uh, little girls clothes, Madeline's, but it's a really good seller. Well, it used to be, I'm not sure if it still is. But here's the top and I want to say it was brand new with tags. Maybe not. I thought I saw a tag on it. Let me look at the arm. At any rate, it was only a dollar, you guys. So I thought that that was a really good deal. So I got that. Oh, that's super cute. It might fit me. I might just keep that. <laughs> um, so let's see what else. Then I got this one for me too. This is like an all me day or something. But I love these kind of tops like this that are the two-tone with the sleeves that have the different colors. But this is a cute Christmas one. So it says Rudolph to a rooftop near you. And the little Rudolph has this has got a little gem, shiny gem on his nose. So I thought that would be fun to wear for December. And all of this is only a buck each. And let's see what else. I got this one is Express, a size large, super comfortable. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'll definitely be keeping that. And whenever I go out and I buy these clothes, you guys, I always try and like take away how many items I'm bringing in. I try to take that many items out of my closet that I'm not wearing anymore. So um, yeah, I have way too many clothes, but what woman doesn't, hello? So I am all on a green kick right now, especially the emerald green. I'm a natural redhead, so I love the green. And this is like a, this is a Kato. This is a Kato little like sweater. And it buttons, let me see. Yeah, it's like a cardigan, I guess. It just snaps right there. So I can wear like a little black tank top in it or something and then uh, dress up the look with this. So really, really pretty. And I got this, I don't know if Madeline will wear it or not. It was brand new with tags, Cat and Jack from Target. And it is a sloth and it says slow jams. So that was real cute. I might end up sending that to my cousin's son. We'll have to see. So yeah, I spent $7 there. You cannot beat that. Oh, and I got shoes too. I wonder if they're in here. Oh, I hope I didn't forget them. Oh no. Did I get the shoes? I might have to go back to that cell, you guys. I had two pairs of shoes also. Well, I'm not seeing them. That's a bummer. Um, oh no, I think I'm gonna have to go back. Um, okay, that won't be awkward at all, going up and knocking on someone's door. Hey, I forgot to get the two pair of shoes I bought from you this morning. Um, so I picked these up at Goodwill. They're Old Navy. Uh, Madeline size. They're called Rockstar Leggings, Jegging Rockstar. And they are in like brand new condition and they were half off so I only paid two bucks. So I'm always looking for clothes for her for the future. So these are probably be for the fall. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing those shoes, you guys. That sucks. Okay, so Goodwill. I got this Tommy heel figure top, real pretty blue. Keeping that for me. Imagine that. <laughs> and I got a hat. I've been wanting one of these hats. Um, this one is a straw one. It was two dollars. So um, yeah, fun to wear, you know, for summer, right? <laughs> And I did get a couple pieces of jewelry. Here's a um, vintage little flower, and it was a doll, only a dollar ninety-nine. It's that metal enamel. And this, oh my goodness, I love this. this is so pretty. This was four ninety-nine. Look how gorgeous that is with that green. You guys, the medicine I take makes me shake real bad. So, but isn't that beautiful? I love it. I can't wait to rock it. And lots of times, like, you know, I'll wear stuff for a little while and then I'll get bored with it and sell it, so. And this one's definitely vintage, I feel like. It's a longer necklace, I love the longer ones. And then that's, it was $2.99. And it's got like some little flowers in there, real pretty blue and gold. Almost looks like, kind of like carnival glass when it shines in the light, real pretty. And, um, these little uh, tissues I like to carry in my purse and you know I love cats I don't have a cat I want to get a cat so bad you guys but I just don't know how uh, the cats would do a cat would do with chihuahuas so I just don't know and I just don't know if I'm ready for that responsibility uh, but yeah love these little bitty cat tissues okay also oh I forgot to show you one thing and this pretty purple beaded necklace. It's rare that I find purple anything. Like, I feel like purple is a really retro color, especially with the big beads like this. And this one was $3.99. And it, it is marked uh, right there on the clasp. It does say something. But I um, haven't been home yet to or taken the time to look. But, yeah. I thought that was really pretty. I'll probably sell that one. Let's see. And then... I uh, saw this Gucci purse. I'm sure it's not real, but I went ahead and got it anyway. It was um, 10 bucks and you know, it's real classy. This is luxury. <laughs> so yeah, Gucci, Gucci gang. And oh my gosh, this might be my favorite thing of the day. I did pay up for this, but it's totally worth it. This gorgeous Love Brighton bag. It was $14.99. But I am going to use this, you guys, like for my smaller packages for the post office. And see on this side, it's got some birds. And down here at the bottom in the corner, it says Brighton. So, and I love the red and the pink straps on it. So, and it's really cute to carry for summer too. I feel like it's really pretty. So, that was my splurge of the day. And, um... I cannot believe it. I did get um, a little table back here. I don't know if you can see the legs. Let me show you. But it's just a little bitty table like this, and it's white. And I thought it was really kind of rustic looking. And uh, probably put that in my antique booth. I don't know yet. We'll see. And I got this big bag here for a buck. And it says TRS. I was thinking, dang, you just missed, missed it by one letter if it said TLS, that would have been my uh, initials. So, but this is a huge bag, really great for carrying stuff. Um, and I've also got a couple candles. These were 10 cents each. This is candlelight, frosted blue spruce. I love the smell of the pine. And this one is aromatherapy lavender. I love lavender. So, I get these sprays, you guys. They're from um, Zoom. I think it's Z-U-M is the name of the company. And they smell so amazing. And I just keep a little um, spray bottle by my bed. And when I go to bed at night, I spritz my pillow and like the sheets that pull up on me. And it just totally helps to relax me. And it smells so good. I love it. Um, I'll try and include a picture of that bottle before I close out this video so you can see what I'm talking about. But right now, I guess... Uh, I'm going to make my way back over to that house. It's going to be so embarrassing. I'm going to be like, I bought some shoes here this morning. Do you still have them? <laughs> um, 
But yeah, one of them was a pair of those uh, nice sandals. It's called, I don't even, I'm not even going to attempt to say it, but it looks like a horseshoe. And um, they're really expensive uh, flip-flops. You know, good quality leather. I got them for a buck. And then I got a really pretty pair of, I forget what the brand was, but they're like black with polka dots. Super cute. So I'm going to go back over there. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I'm headed to that garage sale where I forgot those shoes. So the funny thing about this this morning is, I can't remember if I said it or not earlier, but it's a gated community. So when I pulled up this morning, there's like all these cars like sitting here waiting, I guess, for somebody to come out or open it so we can all get in and go to the sale. So well, I have a friend who lives in this neighborhood. So I text him and he gave me the, um, is it the street? No. He gave me the code to get inside. And so um, I got in and like a whole caravan of people were following me to this garage sale. So um, yeah, I'm glad he gave me the coat because I just used it again to get in to come back to the sale. So this is gonna be awkward. Of course I can't film it. I can't walk up, you know, with my camera and say, hey. So I'm probably just gonna have to tell you guys what they say. Oh, I hope they're still out there. The signs are still up, so that's good. So. I hope she remembers me. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Let's see if they're still out there. Oh, I still see the setup. Okay, thank God they're still out there. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, let you know what they say. Okay, so I went back and they're still out there, thank goodness. And I'm walking up and the husband's like, you're just in time to get nothing. <laughs> And I said, no, actually, I forgot something. So I walked up to the sale and I asked the wife, I said, hey, you didn't find a bag, you know, with a couple pairs of shoes. She said, oh, yes, 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 I'm so sorry. So she brought it over. So I was so happy she remembered me and I got the shoes. So I want to show you. So um, this is the shoes that I got, the sandals I was telling you about. And they were $1. So this is the front. You see that little horseshoe symbol? And then this is the back. And the brand is, I wrote it down so I could pronounce it right, Olakai. So these flip-flops retail you guys for $110. And um, the reason why is because of the technology that went into making them. Um, apparently they have really good arch support uh, that helps support your back too. So that's really cool. And these are all, these are called the Hiapo, the Hiapo sandal, they're size 12. And I'm thinking my husband might even want them. So, um, but if he doesn't want them, I'm probably going to go ahead and list those. And then this is the other pair, the polka dot pair I was telling you guys I got. And this is my candies. How cute are they? So they're with the black, with the little white polka dots, with the, with the red patent leather on the back of the heels. And they were $1. And I couldn't find a size on them. I'm thinking they... They look like they could be my size. I mean, I could probably only wear them sitting down, <laughs> but they're really, really cute and I love them. So um, that's all I got, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my haul video. Um, it feels like so good to be getting out again. And I feel like I'm doing so much better. I'm not, I feel like I'm, well, my feet are still really swollen, but I feel like my stomach's gone down a lot. and. I'm only up four pounds and that's not too bad for taking steroids for almost going on a week or two now. So I uh, still have four more pounds to lose to be back to my regular weight before all of this stuff started happening to me. But um, I feel confident that I'm going to get there uh, and make it happen. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye everybody.